Hello everyone, here is a video by me, free name on YouTube, on how to factory reset this BT or EE Smart Hub SH20A, otherwise known as product number GRV9517UAC34-2-2. A dash G A. Some people are calling it the Smart Hub 3. Um, a lot of the stuff says uh, SH2 or whatever, so I'm not sure whether it's a Smart Hub 2 or a Smart Hub 3. It's whatever they send out in October 2023. In my example here, I've set a custom IP address, I've forgotten the Wi Fi password, so I'm plugged in with a cable, and I've forgotten the administration password. So the aim here is to factory reset this router so that it's back to its defaults. Uh, on the left here I'm pinging the wrong IP address, the custom IP address of 1.1. On the right hand side I'm pinging uh, 192.168.1.254 which is the, the default IP that we want it to go back to. On the back of the Smart Hub, just above the power where it goes in, there is a small reset hole. You'll need a paper clip or a pin or some other pointy device to be able to press that. Unlike some of the older BT hubs, this one doesn't need you to press it for very long at all. You only need to momentarily press it for it to go back to factory settings. So I'm going to put the paper clip in and I will tell you when I'm going to press the button. So I'm going to press it now and let go now. So literally as brief as that is all you need to do. The light has gone solid green. Um, it was flashing purple before because I don't have it plugged into a broadband line, but your one might have uh, a different light on uh, if you have got yours plugged into the internet. So once I press the reset, the light's gone solid green, and it should take about 90 seconds to reboot and start up, and then hopefully will respond instead of over here on 1.1 on its default IP address, its factory settings of 1.254. And there we are. So it's no longer responding on 1.1. Well, oh, just after it started responding to pings on its default 1.254, there's a couple of clicks from a relay in here. Uh, this thing is quite noisy. It does just randomly make click noises when it's not plugged into the internet. Um, so if you're going to use this as a Wi-Fi point, be aware that it might just randomly reboot, I think, on a watchdog timer to try and fix things. And also it makes lots of relay clicks. So if it's in a bedroom or something, then somebody might get a bit annoyed with it going click, 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 click. Uh, every so often as it uh, does whatever it does when it's not plugged into the internet. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thanks very much.